In this exercise, what we're going to do is deal with a couple of interesting little features of fireworks that uh, not a lot of people know about. And they really are going to make your life easy. So to get yourself started, open up the text05.png file located in your exercise folder. And the plan here when this file opens is to do a little write-up about Montreal. But we really don't know what the words are, but the client wants to see what it looks like, so we're going to have to dummy up the ad, so to speak. Now, the word Montreal is spelled wrong. If you are Canadian, there is an accent on the E. Now, you can use the special keyboard and stuff like that in your computer system to try and find it, but that's awfully difficult. There's an even easier way of doing it. What I want you to do is get the text tool, select the E, and then come to Window, Others, Special Characters. That's one place where you can find the Special Characters panel. Another place where you can find the Special Characters panel is right here on the panel. And when it opens up, you can see that all the special characters that are in, in the font are there. Notice that there are accents, there's Spanish spellings, there's French C's with that little hook underneath it called a sedilla. And what we need is Montreal, which has got the accent pointing down and to the left. So with the E selected, all you have to do is just click on that character and the E is added. Now, the text, we just don't have a clue what it's going to be, so we're going to have to say to the client, look, this is where we're going to put the text, and we're going to put it in here, and it's just going to be a short little text block, but it's going to sort of lead into it. You can copy and paste text in, but there's an even quicker way of doing it. What you do is you select the text tool, draw out a text box. We'll just draw one out here. And you can see that the last point size chosen is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock it back to Verdana, and we're going to take the point size back to about, we'll go with uh, 14 points. You can see that the box shrinks. Now, here's where it gets really cool. Making sure that your text cursor is blinking, and you notice that you can change the width of the text box, you go to Commands, and there's a text command here, and there's one called Lorem Ipsum. Select it. And you'll notice that a whole whack of Lorem Ipsum text has now gone into the text box. And it's fully editable, so we can change the color to, we'll say, black. And we'll just spread it out a bit, so we'll give it a little bit of tracking. Take it up to about 140, because it's a little tight. We'll just type in 140 here. And I'm going to take the view up to 100% so you can see what it looks like, because it looks like I'm broken up there. There we go. As I said, it's all live text, so you can do anything you want with it. For instance, if you want to indent the text a little bit, it'll take the first paragraph and indent it. You can change the orientation. If you want to have it justified, you can do that. Or we'll just uh, keep it flush left. You can put space between the paragraphs. You can put space before or after. You can do all kinds of stuff because it's all live text. So in this example, what I've done is I've shown you how to use the special character panel. And what you do is you just simply select the letter that needs a special character, come to the special characters panel, open it, locate the character you need, just click it, and it will be applied. And if you need to throw in dummy text, you just go to the commands menu text lorem ipsum and the text will come in lorem ipsum will come in at the point size and font last chosen in the text area of the properties panel